Wow. Yeah, that's very. Ready go. Alrighty, ladies and gents, as you can see, we are here with the Anvil. How are you, man? Good, man. man. Some uh, some drama been stirring, oh, brother. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Drama, <laughs> like man, we were supposed to get out of the Arnold's classic. Arnold's. What, yeah. happened? That, what happened? Well, that was that was cancelled, and and we were trying to salvage an event to do something down there because we'd already booked and we still wanted to compete. We had a huge prep and yeah and uh by all accounts it was gonna go ahead and then ryan scott decided to the milkman decided to pull out because he said there was nobody worthy yeah. for him to compete against and i and <laughs> i was pretty low and i just went <laughs> <laughs> was already super disappointed about what was going on with the arnolds and it being um cancelled so oh uh, yeah we kind of added fuel to the fire so we we went we went hard at it nice. <laughs> so for YouTube, who has no idea who Ryan Scott is, mm. who is Ryan Scott? So Ryan Scott uh, is ranked number one in Australia. Uh, last time I faced him was at Arnold's last year, so 2019, and he beat me. I made a mistake, uh, and I actually have never beaten him right-handed. Mm. Um, there's something about the way he hits that, the instinct is to drop your shoulder back and try and catch with the bicep. So mm. yeah. uh, that won't be happening again. That won't right. be happening again. Oh, all right. No, okay, so, no. so Ryan, Ryan Scott's the number one ranked right arm mm -hmm. arm wrestler in Australia. Yeah. Um, uh, left arm, you've beaten him, yeah? Yeah, yeah, left arm. I don't think I've ever lost to him, so. Okay. Mm. But, well, you know, we're not yeah, talking about yeah, that. Yeah, we're not talking about that. So, <laughs> so, so tell me a bit, a bit more about um, what's unfolding. I, I hear that a super match... He's yeah, asked for I, certain I, conditions. I, I pretty much bullied him into it. Um, <laughs> yeah. I put a fair bit of pressure on him. May have called him a coward and some other things. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, he's agreed. Um, he wants it under the AAF banner, so the Australian Arm Wrestling Federation banner, which means it will be ranked. So if anyone outside of mm -hmm. uh, Australia wants to look up who's number one, mm. well, that'll, that'll be changed. It'll be on the summer. board. <laughs> it'll be on the board. So, you know, it's his match to lose. Yeah, so, um, um, so you, so then is there money on this? What, what's the? No, so far there's no money. Uh, I think he's trying to sort out some sponsors. Um, you know, credit to him, he's trying to find some sponsors for my flights, mm. um, so we can make it happen. But it will be in his hometown. Uh, I don't know who's refing. I don't care. I don't know if the guy's even going to turn up with a strap. I don't care. Like, <laughs> um, you, I don't you, care. Just, you just flat out, you think he's had this rank for too long and it's time to change or yeah what? yeah it's time to it's time to go well, right. why do you, why do you feel that way well he's getting a bit too big for his boots isn't he saying no one's worthy for him to turn up so i'm taking it upon myself to chop that arrogance down a few <laughs> few notches <laughs> yeah yeah okay so let's tell us about your last 12 months yeah so th this is why I kind of, I got so heated. So we had Arnold's and then once I recovered from Arnold's last year, I think it was, well, Arnold's was in March last year. So uh, the end of April is when I started in earnest with Giannis Amelins. Mm. So this is the first time, like I used to think I was training well and then Giannis comes along and I went, oh, oh, oh <laughs> that wasn't, I, w I have not been doing the correct thing. Yep. Um, was treating everything like a barbell. And since having Giannis on, there is still like a wealth of things that I still need to learn. And I'm pretty sure he just kind of drip feeds me what I need to know <laughs> uh, at any time. But um, yeah, I pretty much just unequivocally, unequ un in unequ unequivocally, unequivocally, <laughs> yeah, unequivocally, I can say it in my brain, not my mouth, um, have just given everything over to Giannis and I like, I don't question him on the validity, validity of things. And, um, yeah. And so far, like my strength from when I first started, yeah, there was some neurological gains and we've seen some stuff on that, but I've just gone from stride to stride to stride. Mm -hmm. My understanding of the sports and, you know, it's physics and it's biomechanics. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm, so it's a very different Lachlan than now than he had last year. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Ryan's about the same. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, tell me about um, what is it going to be? A six round super match, or how's this going? Uh, I, I want it? the six rounds. Yeah. And what I want is go six rounds, and you can't pull out. It's not best of four. 
yeah. you were going to complete all six. All six, no matter what. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> you because part of that is because of the way the AAF ranking works, that if I beat him once, it doesn't mean I'm number one. Mm. If I beat him twice, I get closer to being number one. More points. So, yeah, it's all in that points base. So I want to beat him six yeah. times in a row. Because, so. I mean, so it's, it's realistic to say that you may beat him and yet not take the number one rank um, because he's too far ahead on the points or... Yeah, so doing the six rounds will make me... The, the, the Australian arm wrestling scene. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Uh, I understand the Australian arm wrestling federation has been around seven or eight years. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the transition from amateur to pro seems to be happening, from my observations, for yeah, yeah. The, the guys that are in the top, top tier of the Australian. Mm-hmm. Um, how does that relationship with the ranks and who's pro, who's amateur, where does all that sit? I actually, hmm, I, I did hear that the there are quite a few amateur competitions coming along, which Ryan Scott has actually been the head of. Um, there was some guy in the WA that's just smashed all the uh, the amateur comps he was he was holding, and he actually ranked quite highly, and we all jumped up and down and went, "Who's this guy?" So they've put like an amateur ranking in that. Mm. But where I, I see the AEF, you know, it's it's kind of evolving. It almost, it, it's slowly becoming obsolete, I think. People care less about the ranking. I, I don't actually care about the ranking. Mm. I just want to beat the guy who I haven't beaten yet. Yeah. It's just yeah. he wanted under the AEF well, so, and yeah. I've gone. So oh, the, the okay. ranking was u- even used by the World Arm Wrestling League for a year. Mm. 2017, a lot of people jumped up and down because it, it does require a lot of consistent data. I think with mm. consistent data, it's amazing. But yeah. As you step into the pro level and you start hunting Zlotty Turs and, mm-hmm. and WALs... And it doesn't take it into account. You don't... Y- y- yeah. You no longer are creating data anymore. And mm-hmm. therefore, old mate Joe Fox or... Uh, not Joe mm-hmm. Fox. Joe Bloggs. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. Joe Fox. <laughs> <laughs> old mate Joe Bloggs. Joe Fox sent me a lovely message today. That's why. <laughs> I, yeah. Thank you, Joe. Anyway, Joe Bloggs is what I meant to say. Old mate Joe Bloggs mm-hmm. takes a whole bunch of amateur tournaments and becomes number one. So mm. Ryan's number one. Is this because he's been winning amateur tournaments or what? Oh, he's, like you said, the AAF, AAF has been around for a long time. The professional side of things is only emerging kind of the okay. last Cause kind I, of years. I, I, so. The reason I ask is I heard Ryan discredit your, your, your track record. He said that you've done nothing in the sport and he's done heaps. And I want to know, what, 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 what has he done? And what have you done? How does it stack up? In terms of winning, yeah, he he's got he's he's got some good wins, but in terms of the professional side of things, I got eighth left-handed and ninth right-handed at Zlotty. Um, mm. He got eighth at Wow, which was two thousand sixteen, I believe it was, when we had the qualifiers. So I qualified for the two hundred two hundred twenty-five pound class. I just didn't go. Mm. Um, I think he qualified for that. Yeah, I competed so against he, him, he, so he but he went to the supers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know who we lost to. Yeah, but he got eighth, and I'm like, and he said that I've done nothing. I thought, well, actually, professionally, we've done the same. Um, well, I would say that finishing eighth at the Zlotty Tour is significantly above finishing eighth at that 2017 well. Yeah, which was a bit of a nothing well, wasn't it? Yeah, and, mm. and well, well, that was the, the well, the that, well year that didn't happen. Was, that's 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 the American Championship, basically. Mm. That's yeah, what it was. Yeah. It was the American National yeah. Championship. And in terms of the caliber that were there, I mean, they had mm. the Michael Todd's, the Travis Bajans, the Devin Larratts. They were there. It was mm. the North American Championship. Zlotty to, I mean, you had Zambalat under control. Yeah. You lost on elbow fouls. Yeah. I, I actually watched you, that again you, last you night. You had a multiple world champion yeah, yeah, no. uh, <laughs> under control. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's, you know, in terms of what we've done, he's been around for longer. But I think from my entry into the sport, I've exploded where he is kind of, it's been a very steady linear and then he, mm. he's petered out, where I just continue to... Mm. to your, your, so. your goals um, within the sport, are they national? Are they international? No, they? they're international. Okay. Um, but So you haven't been chasing Ryan Scott? Like, he hasn't been on your mind? No, not for the past year. And I thought, oh, it'd be nice to beat Ryan Scott, like, finally this just to year. to tick that box. Just to tick the box and say, yeah, I'm number one. <laughs> like, I can say it without <laughs> people jumping up and down all of... The milkman's little followers, cringy little followers. Oh man! <laughs> like bantering with him is one thing, but bantering with all you these get little the minions, you with, get the, the with his boys. lemmings. Oh man, that's, <laughs> that's pathetic. Um, anyway, yeah, it's just tick off the box, and uh, 
In terms of the way it is, like we've got some questions. I think Evan Burgoyne uh, raised some questions. Isn't Ben the man to round your parts? Mm. Now, ben, ben, ben Carroll. Carroll. Uh, turns out Marte is. Marte's yeah. beat him twice in yeah. a row, and I, I didn't know. Um, so I think it'll be Ryan Scott, Ben Carroll, and then I'm going to have another crack at Marte. Yeah. Well, willing, w- so. without a doubt, the top four, if you just say Oceania, mm. which is Australia and New Zealand, um, yeah, it's you, Ryan Scott, Marte, and Ben. Mm. Without a doubt. Ben. Yeah, he's a New Zealand citizen, lives in Australia, mm. but he's a Kiwi. Yeah, uh, so that's why he's not ranked. Um, so Ma- Marte is the man over Ben. Ryan has wins on Ben as well. Mm, um, but Ryan doesn't have a win. Well, no, Milkman has one win, one win. on Ben. Yeah, uh, and, he, and he kindly, he's he's doing me all these favours by like sharing little snippets of where he's beaten people or where he's beaten me. And I'm like, oh, that's, uh, I, that's uh, what I did wrong. I get a, uh, <laughs> so thanks for that, Ryan. I appreciate it. <laughs> Super early days, but I I'm one one with Ben Carroll as well. I actually have a win on Ben Carroll. Oh, when, I was, when I was like when we were both like novices. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, was yeah. A, he was still bigger than me, but yeah, yeah I beat him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did the fishing pole on him. I he went to slip and I grabbed his fingers and went, Nope. Ah, <laughs> not go. See, that's Ryan Scott's favourite thing to do. That's what happened <laughs> in Arnold's last year. I kind of and I washed it back because he sent it to me. It was very nice. Um I felt at the time, oh, there's a gap there. I think I can turn him in. But this is the Arnold's that Devin was there. And I asked Devin, what do you reckon? And he said, get the strap. So I mm. kind of just like half-assed. You didn't, yeah. yeah R- didn't Ryan, outside of straps, he's, I mean, th- if there's anything that is an ace on Ryan, it's his, it's his wrist. Mm. Um, he's kind of like a uh, Andre Pushkar-style direction. He, he posts heavy, a lot mm. of straight-up side mm. pressure. Um, yeah. I, I do think that and, uh, I saw him banter saying, "You want to start in a hook?" Oh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. It's like you, you drunk on a, oh, man, what day you drunk on a Tuesday night? <laughs> oh, yeah, that no. <laughs> it, it, well, I'll just I'll take you there myself, man. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. It, look, yeah. Realistically, he's obviously just, there. He's just trying to stir the pot because well, he knows that if he starts in a hook, he gets crushed. Yeah, what what I think he's trying to do is because I've been rather nonchalant about his terms like I, I don't care I even said like I'll do it in your mother's tea room I don't I don't give two hoots I just want to arm wrestle now he's trying to get some get, get some ground back saying oh I don't care either yeah yeah you do <laughs> yeah you do <laughs> oh I love it okay so so this match is gonna feel a little bit like when I face Chance Shaw it's gonna be behind enemy lines for you mm-hmm. it could be with all of Bunbury cheering for Ryan Scott likely yeah so you'll be in a pub Yep. With a lot of drunk cowboys around, mm-hmm. and they're all going to be uh, them, the milkman's their man. Yeah, you're going to be the big brute that from Brisbane that no one wants to win. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was a smart ass big mouth brute. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I well, got to. Uh, I might have to get travel insurance for that one. <laughs> nice. Well, I think this uh, this channel um, pound for pound, I'm going to we might follow you over there. And cause this to me mm-hmm. sounds like an interesting journey. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, Ryan Scott. Got to give him credit for what he's done in this. Tra- he's led the charge in Australian arm wrestling mm. for quite some time. Yeah, uh, the guy's a very good arm wrestler. He's dangerous. I, I, I'm not napping on him. Mm. There's no naps. I even had Giannis called me about it. Okay, Giannis ringing. I went, oh, well, well, <laughs> don't like him to call. <laughs> and, um, he saw he saw the the drama, did he? I didn't see the drama, but he saw my post saying that you know, face hey, Ryan. yeah, we're gonna face Ryan. So, um, yeah, he's we've developed a little plan for him and. I would imagine that Giannis is very confident that you've got the, the tools to do it. Because Gian- Giannis mm. himself, I watched Giannis himself pull with Ryan and mm. Ryan didn't know how to deal with Giannis at all. He there was confused. Were, there was... Ryan Scott got a few pins on him, didn't he? No, never. No. Giannis okay. was bullying him. Yeah, right. Oh, he does do that. <laughs> <laughs> Giannis was he giving just kind of floats and yeah, floats and, and floats hits. and the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that if the money was on the line, Ryan would... It would it be different with Ryan and Giannis because Ryan is just that much bigger? Yeah, it'd be but interesting because I mean, like Giannis couldn't top roll me. Um, mm. You know, uh, Ryan with his history of getting my wrist back is me trying to slip. He's never actually taken it like in earnest. Mm. Um, so he thinks I have a weak hand and a weak wrist, and that, that's fine. So you're gonna come at him? Oh, right at him. Yep. Straight at him. There's <laughs> Le- leaning forward. Saying, oh, shoulder forward. Don't care. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because Ryan likes to go straight side. So if he goes straight side with you going forward, it's going into a hook. It's Very. he's either going to pin you or it's going into a hook and it's going to mm. stop in a hook. Mm. So 
Yeah. He'll just, just crash down on my arm and and that's fine. <laughs> shoulder will be fine. I've so. never seen Ryan defensively top roll. Do you th- like that'd well, be something new. Can he hasn't he, he, hasn't, he hasn't beaten Marte and I actually saw a little bit of a development in Ryan Scott last year was he had his wrist bent back and he was he was kinda flop hooking, mm. if you will. He was getting his shoulder forward and jamming mm. forward, which had some success. Um uh, Marte obviously won in the end, but mm. um Mm. Interesting. So well, I might I might even top roll him just for the lulls. <laughs> <laughs> well, by round six, especially you can do whatever you want. Potentially, yeah, yeah. It goes your way. <laughs> nice. Well, you, so you don't have a date yet? Uh, we, we'd like the thirtieth of May. Um, pending travel restrictions. Pending travel restrictions. Uh, pending with everything that's going on, he's obviously, um, you know, got his family to take mm. care of there, and you know, I, I don't know what the situation is with his elderly around but I'm in a pretty unique position where I can kind of be isolated or at least be isolated away from my elderly. So there's not, there's not that risk. I can, um, yeah, yeah kind of nice. stem how far I spread it at least. So I, I'm not concerned about it for me or mine, but you know, he's got to feel comfortable too. So good stuff. Yeah. All right, man. Well, wish you the best with it. It's, um, kind of officially, but unofficial, but <laughs> official. Number one in Australia, got title on the line here, really. Yeah, like I said. Regardless it's, of the ranks, that's it's really what it is. Yeah, it's all about who. I don't care about the rank. Yeah, It's just who do I need to beat? I mean, if he, if he, if he loses 6-0 to you and he's still ranked above you, I don't think he can possibly... Oh, it won't even matter. If anyone says, <laughs> I looked on the rankings and be like, well, here's a video of me spanking him <laughs> recently. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. All right, man. Well, best of luck with it. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll follow fun. the story. Should be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's a bet!